Hey everyone, it's Brian with Pokevault.com and today we have a bunch of new plushies from the Pokemon Center in Japan and I'm going to go through these one at a time and just give you a quick review. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first new plushie I'm going to show you is the new Arcanine, or Arcanine, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, this little guy was available at the Pokemon Center in Japan. Um, it was extremely popular, as you can imagine. Um, these were flying off the shelves. Um, in fact, I'm sure they're probably already sold out. But anyways, um, I picked up this little guy in Japan, and you can see his fur very soft his tail moves around of course Pokemon Center tag and 100% authentic and he stands up real nice and very soft very nice I really like this plush how it's made and the next one we have is Sorry about that. Is Flareon. This is kind of a remake, but not really. Um, you can see it's in a sitting pose, similar to the Tomy plush, but it's also similar to the old Pokemon Center plush. Um, of course, this fur is really soft. You can see the tail here. And it's very cute. I really like the way they did this. It's actually, I think it's a lot better quality than the last one. Um, you can see the tag. The last ones looked like this. And these have been heavily bootlegged, so it's almost impossible to find one on eBay. A real one. Um, but you can see how skinny this one is compared to the new one. I just, I think the quality is just much better. Um, and these, as far as I know, have not been bootlegged yet. I'm sure they will, but anyways, um, so here's the, the new one and the old one. You can see the legs are a lot, a lot fatter. These are so skinny. Um, but I really do, I like both, but I really do like the new one better. And next we have Jolteon. And again, really soft fur. Um, and just better made, I think. Tag. Nice stitching. Just overall a really nice plushie, I think. You can see Pokemon Center 2015. And last but not least, we have Vaporeon. And what I do like about this one is its tail. Um, this this part I don't really like as much. It kind of doesn't stay straight real well, but you you can play with it, make it make it look better. Um, but I do like its tail. Look at how long its tail is. Um, usually its tail is like this, um, but this one it's it's stretched out. And I really do like this. Again, this is similar to the Pokemon Center 2012 version, but the tail obviously is different, and it's, I think, a better quality, too. Um, but let's get to the other ones here. Then next we have... These plushies are a little different. This is a different company now. Um, this is the All-Star Collection. And these are by a company called San Sane, right here, Sane. Um, these were sold in Japan as well. These are actually really difficult to find. I did get these at the Pokemon Center, but most of them were already gone the first day. So I can't show you all of them, but I'll show you as many as I have. Um, th these are a real soft. Stitching is very, very nice. Um, these are not made by Pokemon Center, they're made by Sané. Um, but inside, there's a little bit of beans on the bottom here. 
um, so it's a little bit heavier and it, it helps it sit nicer. So I really like these. This is a Jigglypuff. It's very, very cute. And we also have Gumi. And again, this one has quite a bit of beans in it. Um, so it helps it stand. Very cute. Nice stitching, of course. And we have Gengar. This one's really bright colors. Very, very cute. And Skitty. I like Skitty's tail. It moves. And we have Poliwag. Now you'll notice they do have these plastic hooks on here. Um, I take these off. I don't like these. But some people might hang them. I guess you could hang it on your Christmas tree or something. But I, I take these off. I don't like them. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. You can see how soft, very detailed. I like his tail. Squishy. And again, beans inside. You can probably hear that. Then we have Oddish. Oddish does not stand up, as you can imagine. Um, obviously, he falls over. But he's very cute. He's also got a lot of beans inside. His leaves wiggle here. And next we have Psyduck. They have not made a Psyduck for a long time, so I'm actually quite happy to have this one. Very cute. And we also had Altaria. Um, this one actually costs a little bit more. I think it's because of the fur. It was a little more expensive, two or three dollars more. Um, you can see he's got little feet here. He's very soft, tail feathers. Um, any of you who haven't subscribed, um, you can always subscribe, get all our videos, and right to your inbox. And we've got some contests coming up, so subscribe with them all first. We're giving away some more plushies soon again. So you might want to subscribe um, if you want. And also we got one more here. This is Lucario. This one was about $10 more. It's quite a bit bigger. Um, you can see. But there was also an Eevee and a Pikachu and a few others, five or six others. But again, I don't have those right now. I'll try to get those later. Um, this one obviously does not stand up either. He's got wobbly legs, but he's very, very cool. So it's been a while since they made Lucario, so I'm actually quite happy about this. And I got one more plush to show you. This came out actually last week. This is Zygarde, uh, the core form. You can see he's got one eye, <laughs> one eye and one half an eye here. Um, he also does not stand up. He doesn't have any legs, but he's very cool too. Um, he's also got the Pokemon Center tag. And if anybody's interested, these are on Pokeball.com where you can always come check it out. Um, you can see pictures as well. So let me just give you one more shot of these. And I will be back again with another video. So stay tuned. And again, it's pokevault.com. Come check it out. And I'll come back again. Thanks. Bye-bye.